Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to discuss the next question of our agriculture optional answer writing series. As you all know that we practice one question daily. But before starting this series, I must let you know that we are going to start Aspire for Agriculture test series. Aspire for Agriculture test series. And the admissions for this test series has been started and only few seats are left now. So if you want to join, you can simply message on WhatsApp number 77818-33440. And the price of the test read, if you join in soon, it will be rupees 999 and it will cover 14 tests. Okay. In And all the 14 tests will be six, uh, all the 14 tests will be full test that it will comprise 8 questions in which you have to do 5 questions. And among the 14 tests, 8 will be sectional full test and the six will be complete full syllabus test so you can simply join in and i can guarantee you that this series will be very helpful to you if you want to develop your understanding of writing answers of agriculture optional so please do join and message on this whatsapp number 77818-33440 okay so now let's start the answer so today's question is Discuss the changes in irrigated area through different sources of irrigation in India since independence. Okay, this is the first part of the question. And the second part of the question is asking that classify the irrigation projects based on culti cultivable command area. That is based on command area. Secondly, is based on purpose served. And third is the based on financial return. So, on the based on all the three, uh, all the three things, we have to... Uh, classify by irrigation projects. So let's start. So first look at the first part of the question that is changes in irrigated areas through different sources of irrigation in India since independence. So when during independence that is in 1951 when the irrigation irrigated areas were calculated the total hectares of irrigation was just only around 22,000 hectares. Okay. When you see the irrigated area at the time of independence you will find it to be it to be very less so 22 million hectares only 22 million hectares but as we grow up okay in the recent years we have crossed east over 100 million hectares from 22 million hectares in 1951 to more than 100 million hectares right now okay currently so this is the total scenario of the irrigation in india okay although there are regional disparities and other things but still we from 22 million hectares we have crossed the limit to 100 million hectares now we have to as the question is asking about we have to discuss this changes in different sources okay so first of all we will see in the groundwater irrigation okay and in the groundwater irrigation, when you see, so in 1950s, it was just 28.7 percent, around 29 percent, you can say. In 1950s, it was 29 percent, but currently it has crossed 60 percent. Okay, in current, in 2020s, you can write, it has crossed more than 60 percent. Approximately, uh, approx, it is around 62 or 63 percent, but it has crossed 60 percent. And in groundwater, when we come to different sources, here in, among the 60%, the tube well only, tube well and the use of pumps, it comprises of uh, more than uh, 45%. Okay, around 45% comes from the use of tulu pumps and other things. Okay, so you can see how much the extraction of groundwater has increased after independence. Okay. So this is the scenario for groundwater irrigation. Now we will see about surface irrigation. Surface irrigation means from canals, from rivers, from ponds, from tanks. These all will come in surface irrigation. So when we see from surface irrigation during independence, that is in 1950s, the area from surface, uh, the amount of surface irrigation was dominating. It was around 57%. Although the area didn't reduce, but due to the increase in groundwater irrigation and other irrigation techniques, the percentage of surface irrigation has significantly reduced. It has reduced to more than 30, less than 30%. Okay. 
Now currently it is around 27%. Or you can simply say less than 30% right now in the 2020s. So you can see that surface irrigation water has contributed although good but it has it is in decreasing trend and we are depending more and more on groundwater irrigation so you can see that and when it's come to surface irrigation water especially canals so you will see a huge regional disparity especially in the north green revolution areas you will see there is a huge amount of canals and other things present but when we go to other areas there will be see a disparity that is the amount of these things are very low so using these data you can write a paragraph or write four or five points by dividing your uh, structuring by into two parts that is groundwater and surface irrigation water that will be all for the first part of the question so i hope you understand these data now let's move to the second part of the question so the second part of the question is asking us about to classify the irrigation projects based on cultivable career command area purpose served and financial returns so first of all we will classify on the best of cultivable command area so based on cultivable command area we have three types of irrigation projects major irrigation projects minor irrigation projects and medium irrigation projects actually you should write medium here and then write minor at the end minor irrigation projects so how will be how are you classifying that so major irrigation projects are those projects where cca or cultivable command area is more than 10000 hectares where cca is more than 10000 or 10k hectares so this will be major project okay and for examples of the major irrigation projects will be here vagra nangal project sardar sarovar project vagra nangal project we have sardar sarovar project So these are in major ones. When it comes to medium, here the CCA is CCA is between two thousand hectares to ten thousand hectares. Okay, and examples would be here Naga Arjun Sagar project, Koina project, etc. Naga Arjun Sagar project. We have Koina project. So this will be here, and now. When it comes to manner, manner is that is less than two thousand cca is less than two thousand hectare, less than two thousand hectare, and here many small canal systems, local lift irrigation systems, these will come in manner. So this is on the basis of cultivable command area, and I think uh, as the question is asking to differentiate or a three type on the uh, as the question is asking to Uh, write uh, the irrigation types of irrigation projects or classify the irrigation projects on basis of three types so instead of writing too much we should be sticking to the major points and that will be all and now we have to also write on that basis on the purpose served okay so here on the basis of purpose served we have different kinds of projects first one is the ag agriculture irrigation project here we are simply focus on irrigation the project is generally made for irrigation only okay so that will be agriculture irrigation projects here there will be various river valley projects and other projects which are aiming at irrigation only secondly we have multi purpose projects so here with irrigation we are also focusing on hydroelectricity we are also focusing on flood control we are also focusing on water supply so when these all things enter into the picture then there is multi purpose irrigation projects so all the big projects which you see for example dvc project or you can say the mother valley corporation project dvc so this is generally what a multi purpose project only now next one is drinking water project so here with irrigation we are focusing on drinking water that is water supply for drinking and lower and uh, household use and irrigation so that will be based on the drinking water supply so these are the three types of irrigation based on purpose and i hope you understand this here major ones are the multi purpose Uh, where all the big multi-purpose projects which you see in India are in this type, and agriculture and drinking water supply are the other things. For example, for drinking water supply, you could have seen various dams near your cities, near your towns, 
okay so that those dams can be a good example of this so this is on the based on purpose saved now the third one is on the basis of financial returns so how much financial return it is giving for example high return projects for example the projects which are uh, in the areas where we have cash crops grown where the demand of electricity is high so pro having projects in those areas having uh, multi purpose projects on those areas will give us high returns okay so that will be in high return project moderate project will be slightly in the areas less less uh, less diversified or you can say less developed than the high return areas it could be some kind of you can say traditional irrigation seam project lift irrigation for example lift irrigation projects in some areas so this could be kept into moderate ones next is the low income projects so that could be the projects which have which are struggling to get such a good amount of income and which are on backward areas from rural areas for example ek example you can give example of any small scale projects in drought prone areas small scale project in drought prone areas so how much you expect a drought prone area to give you a significant amount of income so that will be under low income project so this is on the basis of financial returns so i think basis on the basis of this structure you can write your answer and that will be enough and you should conclude positively that is on you how you conclude uh, how what can be the future of indian irrigation schemes and other things you can write those things in conclusion and that is all for today i hope you understand all the parts of the question and i hope you have a good a structure in your mind on which you can write your answers so that is all for today i hope you like it so if you like it please press the like button please do share and please do subscribe it takes a lot of hard work to make such videos on regular basis and if you like share subscribe it motivates us to make more such videos for you and please do join the test with it will be very helpful and if you want to join please do join fast because only few seats are remaining and it is going to start from 3rd of november so that is all for today have a nice day thank you